let's pick up some cane. Ready, Gio? Let's do it. We'll get the door for him. So nice and easy. Yeah, just the one small one there. There you go. And then when he's inside, close him in, okay? Great. So when he, it's a nice narrow stone. It should fit either with just the two small doors or what you just did. So I want you guys to really look at how Gio's heating this plate. He's gonna keep it moving just a little bit because we don't want the burner head to burn just one place on the canes. If it stays still, it's often you make a hot spot there. So he's just really gently moving back and forth and he's using the yoke to do that. Yeah, and then he's gonna come out, I'll flip it and go right back in. My Freddies are always in the way. Okay. So we'll give it a nice long soak this time. Once the canes are kind of tacked together, we know they're not gonna slide around, then he can start to hold the plate down in the glory hole a little bit. And that just makes it so that he's under the flame. And he's not like dumping it. It's a very low, very subtle angle. So this time when he comes out, I'll make sure that I like the way that the heat looks and I'll take the Ferretti's off. All right. Nice, so you can see the whole setup has a nice overall glow to it. The glass is starting to get nice and hot. So I can yank these Ferretti's off real quick. And then I'll flip the plate one more time, just to say that we did it. And the next time he comes out, I'll be able to start squeezing. The more efficient you can be on the plate and in between the bench and the glory hole, the better off you're gonna be. If you hang out at the bench and let your glass get cold, 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 and then go back in, then you have to make up for all that time. And in a minute, I'm gonna need one of you guys to grab my uh, collar and start flashing it in the glory hole over there. It is in the garage. Thanks. All right, so that was heat number three. So that's really efficient heating. Gio's doing a really nice job. Yay. Yep. So I'm squeezing it on all sides, pushing all those canes together. Now that it's all touched, I can use the paddles to flip it. One more, can, uh, can somebody go grab the uh, collar and start heating it in the glory hole. All right, come on out. All right, 
right, I'm gonna pick it up on this side. I'm just gonna check my caliper reading now. My caliper reading is looking pretty good. And then I'm just gonna check the reading on my seam, make sure that it's at least pretty close. That way, if I have to do any adjustments, I can. All right, so I think we can pick up next time. I'm gonna leave my gloves and sleeves on for this. All right, I got gotcha. you. Thank you. You're very welcome. Oh, that's good. So I want my collar to be tacky, but not hot. So I want it to be hot enough to stick to the cane, but not so hot that it's moving. At least that's how I like it. Some other glass blowers go a little hotter than I do. I'm gonna get right on top here, stick it down, boink. And the stone is nice and warm, so we can, yeah, thank you. What happened to our brick? Oh, great. This one small door is perfect. All right, so you, no, no, leave it open for now. See how I've left the seam unattached from the collar? So I want you guys to notice this, because that's going to give you flexibility to put your seam together nicely. OK, Gio, thank you. It gives you a little bit of wiggle room on either side so that you can bring them together. If they're attached to the collar, you kind of can't move them. All right, you can close that door now. Okay. We're done with these, so those can go away now. So I don't want my assistant to get this so hot that my tweezers start to mark it up. Because if it's all juicy and hot, I'm just going to be mucking up the surface. So he's doing quite short flashes. And little by little, we'll start to see the heat build up. But for right now, I can still manipulate it pretty slowly and evenly. Okay, one more flash and I'll knock that up. You do make a dent when you put the seam together and so I do take some time to kind of get that out. A little bit. All right, so there's your roll up. Once the seam is together, then, you know, everything's looking like glass again. And you can just get inside with a tool and give yourself a little lift here and I'll take it at the, uh, go ahead and flash and I'll take it at the yoke. These are hot, so I'm just going to put them aside. If I put them on something metal, then they'll cool down nice and fast. Done with these. I'll be right there. And I'm going to start marbling. And I don't need the gloves anymore, so I'm going to take those off. Thanks. Gotcha. I think so. I'll take a pipe cool too. That pipe got toasty over there by the glory hole. If I have any high spots, I just kind of pause on those. Time sensitive stuff is done. Now we're just going to be compressing this on the marver with heat and then, um, and then closing down that end. Great.
So I'm getting it as comfortably hot as I can without it getting crazy in there. Obviously, you can see that that lip at the very end is getting the hottest. So it's the furthest in the glory hole and the last out. First to the party, last to leave. And then, of course, it's also a bit thinner. And, and maybe I could have a little paddle while I'm over. So this is a nice trick when you're trying to compress some things. Geo's gonna paddle while I'm marvering. And that's gonna help me make it a little bit shorter. Oh, you know what? We could light that fluffy in a second. It's no hurry, but yeah. And I'll, t I'll just get this under control. I'm turning pretty slow. I don't want that to go flying. Okay, paddle. And he's gonna push towards the blowpipe while we're doing that. And that's just helping to compress it back, make it a little shorter. Great, off. Crush this down a little. All right, I'll marble it one more time and then we'll cut the bottom off. I think so. Just trying to be really conscientious about my heat so that we don't have to take as much time to let the surface do its thing. And the whole time I'm marbling, I'm also being conscious of the fact that we're going to gather over this. And so I need to take down any surface uh, texture. OK. Yeah, the straightness, changing directions is pretty much key for that. To keep the cane straight, you want to be, can you take a heat for me? Thanks. We'll cut that bottom off this time. If you want something to twist, turn in the same direction. If you want it to stay straight, you need to be continually switching directions. Thank you. Other side of my hand. There you go. Thank you. Angle of my jacks just a little bit. Not really. I am angling the jacks, but I'm not hauling to make anything longer. In fact, I want to keep this kind of short because we're going to be gathering over it.
Okay, so I just cut it at the end and I'm gonna cut it just one more time really quickly to make sure that my termination looks nice. Sometimes you just need a little extra guy there. Not exactly like that. Gio, would you get off the 12 block? It might not fit, but we'll try that one first. So I'm just doing a really good job to build up some heat in there trying to keep it nice and short. I was holding up while I was heating, so my shape got a little funny. We'll fix that. Would you give me a, a little bit of hose, please? Thank you. Okay, so Gio put the blow hose on, so I'm just gonna give this a teeny little bit of puff. That way I'm sort of blowing it from the inside and the outside at the same time. Sorry, I, I said that wrong. I'm shaping it from the inside and the outside at the same time. So you're getting pressure from the block and from the air coming in and it kind of pushes both sides, which is nice and doesn't let this get too big. So you can take the hose off and take heat for me and then I'll uh, paper it and I think we can gather on that. Oh, the paper koozies are a miracle. They're my favorite thing. No more paper smoke. All right, thanks. And would you grab um, a punty and check for bubbles in the furnace? And if we need to, we'll give it a little rake. So we'll put a coat of glass on here. The thing with the graphite cozies is that you just need to keep them pretty wet. So we try to always squirt them in between uses. Uses. You guys probably noticed that the furnace is getting a little low, so I'm gonna take a pipe cool in advance of my gather. If I get a bubble or anything, there's, you know, my work's not about perfection, it'll be okay. All right, so we'll let this get chilly and then uh, get a gather on there. furnace. Yeah, I don't think I'll need to come out. If I feel really out of control, then I will. Um, I was going to do the gather on this one. Yeah, I know I usually have. No, no, I know. I was just telling you. I usually have you do it. Because <laughs> you're so good at it. Thanks. I think so. Sometimes there's a little bit of texture left on the surface, some very small dimples, 
I'm just like kind of clocking where they are so that I can look out for them. I don't think it's gonna be a problem, but if they were really, really deep, they could catch a little bit of air there. So I'm just, you know, being careful of that. All right, shall we? All right, we'll take our gather. Do the Darren. Coming out, I'm gonna lose some of that glass in there. Okay. How bad? You wanna take it at the bench for me and I'll take a look at it? That might be a stone. Shoot. Okay. Uh, so we have a little bit of an emergency. Let me uh, see if we can pull that out of there. So I think I gathered up a stone out of the furnace. What did I say? During a demo, something foolish always happens. Yeah, I'll let you turn. in those little things and I'll have you go for a little heat. All right. So there was something in the glass and I got to have it. <laughs> Yay. All the best laid plans, right? So anyway, we'll do the best we can here. Usually once you manipulate the surface a little bit like that, you just kind of want to go in and pet it in a little bit. Thanks, Gio. And Gio knows what he's doing, so he's helping here. We'll block it next time. Okay. Thanks. Yeah, you don't have a lot of time to deal with something like that because the interior bubble is getting hot. And so the exterior glass is like lending its heat to the interior. And so if you're not pretty fast, then you're going to like really mess up your bubble by going in and picking and doing stuff. So it's a little bit of a timely troubleshooting. Got it? Great. All right. I'm going to have you take a heat and then go to the Marver. Do you need a door? Okay. Just rearranging myself. Just hanging off the marver for a sec. Thank you. I think we're gonna be okay. And go ahead and just marver at like a for for now about a 30, 45 ish. Good. Now go up on the tip a little. Beautiful. Okay. Well, heat and. Um, just double check those little marks that I made, make sure everything's good, and then we'll start to blow it up. So if somebody can be on door duty for Geo, and somebody else can be on paper duty for me, that would be great. Thanks. Yeah, thanks. All right, I think we're gonna be okay. It'll, it'll um, get enough corking and blown out to be okay. So let's put the hose on. Got it? Go. All right. Go for a heat. I want to put some water in that. All right. 
Thank you. And we'll mark the seam too. Help. Sure. Or Somebody grab that hose. Yep, let's put the hose on. We'll just paper it. Da -da -da. All right, here we go. Blow. <laughs> Tell the machine to blow. Shoot. Okay, that's fine. I'm going to get a neck in it this time anyway. Yeah, I will. Geo, go heat, and I will take that. Yeah, it's just a little, little small for this size pipe. I'm going to neck it in this time, and I will need a shield, please. Chalk. Excellent. Put the hose on. If somebody can help Geo with that, that'd be great since we have like a thousand people here. On? Mark the seam and I will cork it next time. I saw it. It's right there. Does that seem about right? Well, anyway, we'll start on the the seam, yeah. Okay, so one of the nice things about these alternate inflation systems is that I can be in charge of my own inflation while I'm corking, which I really like. It works really well. flash. Flash heat. You can hold down a little bit if you want. Yeah, thanks. She's, we have a compressed air gun for that if you want to use that. Okay, let's take a heat. I'll neck it in a little bit more just to finish that neck, and then I'll start to carve in the top, okay? Thanks. Oh no! Great, thank you. Yes, thank you. Give me some heat on this. Go ahead and hit the torch. Thanks. Great, go for a nice long flash and then we'll do it. Good. So we'll find that seam. Good, flip. I'll do it on the other side.
and flesh. Yeah. Yeah, we're in good shape now. We can't miss it. <laughs> so I'm leaving myself enough material so that as I'm sculpting, I'll continue to blow and be able to blow into my sculpting tools. If you get too thin, you really can't do much with the glass. It just kind of um, starts to turn into like trying to sculpt a napkin. Thank you. That looks great. Touch the sides. Flip. Flip. And flip. Great. Flip. Flash, just the whole thing, and we'll do that again. So the corks don't take a lot of heat out of the glass. They're pretty um, gentle to touch with. So I got it started with the jacks to kind of make a line, and then I'll use the corks to continue to work around that initial shape that I made with the, with the uh, jacks. So I'm just touching it a little bit. Flip. No, oh, you're fine. Everything's behaving just fine. All right, we're almost there. Same thing, just a kind of an all over flash and we'll do it some more. I'm gonna use the jacks again just to make that line a little tighter. Great. Come on out. Flip. And flip. I don't know why I didn't put gloves on. All right, I'll do that one more time with gloves on. <laughs> what? Going back to what I said yesterday about being in control and comfortable, little safety gear never hurt anyone. And I'm just going to touch the sides to just kind of reestablish that flat form. I'm just touching it. Stay right there if you can. If it's not being a jerk. Flip. All right, flash, and then I'll look at the form and probably get it on a punty soon. So I finished these on the punty. These are actually not, there's no hole at the top. Oh, uh, not always, no. All right, I just want to kind of look at my form, see if there's anything I want to change. Looks pretty cute. Yeah, let me just, uh, do a little monkeying and then I'll start the punty. Yep. And what we're trying to do with our heating is that I never really want this to get cold, cold. I want to send Geo back into the heat before it has a chance to really stop doing anything. So we're never getting it super cold and then very, very hot again. With, uh, with a lot of different colors, that makes a big difference. Flip. Flip. No, you're you're fine. Don't no apologies here. And I'm just making it a little 
puffier. So it has this nice three dimensionality to it. Flip. All right, I'll look at it one more time and then I'll go start the pot tea. Cool, all right, I like that it's not too heart shaped, it's kind of more mitten shaped. All right, sweet. So Gio's just gonna hold on to that and continue to flash while I make a crown punty. Do you need anything? No, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna finish everything on the punty. Yep. For these, it works fine. We put up a blowpipe, but I'm just making a regular crown punty. make a little post very similar to what you guys make when you're gonna do your color just putting a skin of glass on that blowpipe and then I'm gonna let this get cold take another gather on it and shape my punty from that new gather this just gives me a little bit more mass to work with And while I'm doing this, Gio is just taking nice flashes to acclimate the heat from all that work that we did. So by the time I get back over here with him, we'll be punting up right about there. Then everything will be pretty much the same temperature. Short, frequent flashes. That's how you build up heat and maintain a nice, gentle consistency. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and gather Geo. Okay. And I gathered about halfway up my first gather. Just gonna marver it. Some of the glass off the end. Squish it flat and then go back in and marver it off the end of the pipe. And this is called a, a crown punty or a ring punty. Gio, I'm gonna take this at the bench, so we'll switch. All right. But I do need to use the glory hole heat because we don't have the big torch, so be patient. Okay, so I'm just gonna get the front of this punty warm in the glory hole. come over here we'll sit down and switch at the bench thanks thanks my tweezers were a little funny I couldn't get in there it's done now they were just like the blades are super close together so you're gonna come around 
Everybody flip, especially me. Might help me line up a little bit. Thanks. Pipe is super hot. All right, push towards me a little. Great, pull back, turn. Can you help me turn? Yeah. All right. Huh. So much for the glory hole heat. Can I get a shield? It's up under my arm. There you go. I'm sorry about that punny. Ready? You can take that away. Turn kind of fast. Best you can. All right. Well, I think we'll be able to get it off. All right, excellent. Uh, just flash and then I'll take it for a few heats and give you a break, get some water. Thank you. I think so. Thanks. Uh, give me both doors, please. And just leave them open. Right there. Fine, thank you. When I come out, you can close them both. Okay. We'll keep the keep the whole room a little cooler. Yeah. And then I'll open those back up for a second. Exactly. All right, I'm gonna give this back to you. Thanks, and I'll meet you at the bench. So I'm gonna work outside the bench, so I'm gonna have Geo take a few heats. Just turn a little faster, maybe go the other direction, so you're gonna run out of bench. And go for a flash, you can be a little extra at the bottom. Um, right, got my tungsten. Great, come on out. Thank you, nice heat. Go around once and then tug. Oh, you can just keep going that way. It's, I'm not twisting it too badly. Okay, flash and then I'll cut it off next time.
So I'm going to cut this off, get it organized, then we're going to put a hole in it again. So for a moment, it will be a closed bubble, but not for very long. You can also just stick something round in there and keep it open, but I don't have anything. Like a tungsten rod or something. Oh, maybe I could use this. Air gun. Or the air gun. Oh, you're so smart. Shield me on the other side of my hand. Yeah, there you go. Actually, Gio, can you come around and do that? Ready? Got a little messy on me there. Okay, you can come out. Thank you. Can you smack it while these are on there? Towards the bubble. There we go. All right. Every time. Can you guys move the drill, please? And we'll get these untangled. Thank you, perfect, just hold that. Yeah, come on out, I just wanna see what it looks like. All right. Just turn. All right, flash. Are you closing? No. And where's your little graphite paddle? Oh, I see it. No, we're gonna leave that open. So that's the bottom of the piece. And we'll just do our best to get a little bit of a bottom on here without me closing it up. Yeah, let me just reestablish that hole a little bit. Okay. And just heat again. to give it just a little cork down the sides. Flip. Flip. Okay. Just reestablishing that a little. And yeah, turn kind of fast. Okay, I just get in there again. My tiny thing. I'm sorry, I cannot get it, and there's too many things on the bench. Thanks. All right, flash, and I'll give it a little, yeah, let's just keep everything there. These dumb little things. Okay, so this we can use for a little inflation, but I have to be extremely sweet on the trigger. See, I can inflate it a little bit, just barely, okay.
We're almost there. Okay, flash. I think we're almost there, Gio. Um, we are loading into the front loader, right? Which side? Uh, both left doors. Both left doors. Okay, so we're going to be going into the front loader. If someone wants to be on a kneeler duty, that would be really handy. I'll look at it from the other side and make sure everything's where I want it. So it's gonna sit at a little bit of an angle, which is actually really nice. Let's turn. Just gonna push this in a little bit. Sweet. All right. So that's going to be good for that one. Don't really have anything else I need to do to it. Looks good. And uh, Gio's just taking a nice flash. Close the doors. Flip. Looks good to me. All right. Thanks, Ming. Yeah. yeah, you don't have to ask. Would you grab a paddle for me? Put it on the bench right there. Not where I sit. Yeah. use a lot of water on that punty because otherwise I'm worried it's going to tear off. So, so, so. Just letting it idle down a little bit. We got Patrick on the door. Ready? Great, take it. No water? Yes. Great. Okay. So, all right. So, good. Well, perfect. Thank you, everybody, for your help. But most especially, thank you to Gio. Obviously, he's a very skilled assistant and is great to have for this, so uh, big hand for Gio, please. All right, thanks very much for everybody. Appreciate it. Take it easy. <laughs>